What's up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this YouTube video, I'll be revisiting a video I did back in April. That video absolutely sucks, don't watch it, I'm not sure how it, got, how it has gotten over 100 views. Anyway, in this video I'll be showing you how to create a simple explorer using iExpress. I've never seen anyone use iExpress, and I'm not sure how I even found it. But I just know it is, and it's simple, and it goes through everything that you need for a basic installer. And I believe it's really odd too, because if you're like make it so it installs a big file. It has like a Windows 95 animation. You'll see how, how old it is. Anyway, so step one. Press Windows R. Type in iExpress. I still, I already have iExpress typed in. And press Enter or OK. This will pop up. Welcome to iExpress 2.0. This wizard will help you create a self-extracting, self-installing package that's basically just an installer. First you need to create an SED file to store information about your package. If you have already done this, select open, uh, just create new. Next. Extract files only, I don't know what these two do. Package title. So, um, a dialog box will appear and this will be the title of it. So, for instance, the title is I Express Wizard on this. So, for instance, I'm just going to put, uh, hmm. God mode installer. Because I've got God mode right here. Next, prompt user with anything you want. I'm just going to type. Right. Oh my god, I can't type today. Are you sure you want to install God mode? If you have a license, if you're actually dist distributing something, put it into there. I don't have a license. I don't need a license. Next. Now I'm going to add desktop god mode. Oh, by the way, this is how you get it. That. It's not really god mode, it's just like control panel, but in files. So, yeah. No, yeah. God mode. Oh. Should your plan? <laughs> Pretend this is God mode. Um. <laughs> uh. Where is it? There. There you go. God mode's in. Anyway, select the file that you want, or files. Add them. Next. I use default. Display a, f a message when it's finished. So I'm going to put new. Uh, Yo. <laughs> Is that an exclamation mark? I can't tell. I've lowered the graphic settings. I've put, you have successfully installed God Mode. Have fun. Now, I'm not sure what you're actually supposed to do here, but what I do is I have something in Explorer where I can actually edit the file extensions and stuff. So what I do is I create a new file, I'm just going to do a text document, and I'm just going to name it God Mode installer.exe. I'm not sure how you activate it, I activated it a few years ago, it's saved into my Microsoft account. Um, if you change your file name extension, the file might become unstable, there's nothing inside it, it won't. So now it's inexecutable, it does nothing. It says that it can't run, well that's because it's got nothing in there. So what you do is browse for it, it will be in here, God mode installer.exe. So this is where the install, this is the file that the install will be put into. Next, save it just in case you want to edit it in the future. Next, and create. Now if you've... <laughs> If you've added more stuff, it would it wouldn't take 0 0.08 seconds. Um, but it's done. It's oh, it's a cab file. Yeah, it kind of is a installer. Right, finish, and here it is. God mode installer.exe. Now I can now delete this. I don't need this. That can now be taken to the shadow realm. And now here is the God mode installer. Double click. 
this appears. God mode install. Are you sure you want to install God mode? Yes. Okay, don't delete the file that you've added to it. But then it would ins install on stuff. I think I've already got one here somewhere. One minute. Let me find it. It's here somewhere. Oh, it might be in my files. One minute. BLB. Right, I have found um, an installer for one of my operating systems I made in Python. Yes, Python OS 1.0. Right, I actually did add a um, license to this. Not that I'm distributing it anyway, but well. Python OS 1.0. Welcome to Python OS 1.0 installer. We recommend installing Python OS into a designated Python OS folder with nothing in it. Inside that folder, you must have another folder called Documents, all lowercase. Without this, some functions in Python OS will not work. Are you sure you want to continue with the installation? I will create a folder called Python OS Files, and in there I will create a new folder called Documents. Happy now? Yes. Yes. Browse. In fact, wait, can't I just... Uh, Oh, it could be in one minute. <laughs> Let's have to find it. I don't know why it defaults to the temp file. Where on earth is oh, there? Desktop Python OS files. There we go. It's done. There we go. Python OS readme.txt, that's just the menu, and the documents folder. Anyway, I might have gone off on a bit of a tangent showing you how it works, but that's how you um, use iExpress. Now I'm going to delete those because they're just backup files. And I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you actually learned something from this. I'm just doing this because I thought that I made a rubbish video in April, and I, yeah. Leave a like, please. I'm not getting any likes on any of my videos, so I want to know if I'm actually being watched by people and not bots. Because I've, I know I've been botted many times before, so leave a like if you want. I can't force you. Yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one, probably after Christmas. I don't even know anymore. Bye.